It's Monday, July 12, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Chains Broken by Eggs, and our scripture is Isaiah's 34th chapter. Come here and listen, O nations of the earth. Let the world and everything in it hear my word. His fury is against all their armies. He will completely destroy them, dooming them to slaughter. Their dead will be left unburied, and the stench of rotting bodies will fill the land. The mountains will flow with their blood. The heavens above will melt away and disappear like a rolled-up scroll. The stars will fall from the sky like withered leaves from a grapevine or shriveled figs from a fig tree. And when my sword has finished its work in the heavens, it will fall upon Edom, the nation I have marked for destruction. The sword of the Lord is drenched with blood and covered with fat, with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of rams prepared for sacrifice. Yes, the Lord will offer a sacrifice in the city of Bozrah. He will make a mighty slaughter in Edom. Even men as strong as wild oxen will die, the young men alongside the veterans. The land will be soaked with blood and the soil enriched with fat. For it is the day of the Lord's revenge, the year when Edom will be paid back for all it did to Israel. The streams of Edom will be filled with burning pitch, and the ground will be covered with fire. This judgment on Edom will never end. The smoke of its burning will rise forever. The land will lie deserted from generation to generation. No one will live there anymore. It will be haunted by the desert owl and the screech owl, the great owl and the raven. For God will measure that land carefully. He will measure it for chaos and destruction. It will be called the land of nothing. And all its nobles will soon be gone. Thorns will overrun its palaces. Nettles and thistles will grow in its forts. The ruins will become a haunt for jackals and a home for owls. Desert animals will mingle there with hyenas, their howls filling the night. Wild goats will bleed at one another among the ruins, and night creatures will come there to rest. There the owl will make her nest and lay her eggs. She will hatch her young and cover them with her wings, and the buzzards will come, each one with its mate. Search the book of the Lord and see what he will do. Not one of these birds and animals will be missing, and none will lack a mate. For the Lord has promised this. His Spirit will make it all come true. He has surveyed and divided the land and deeded it over to these creatures. They will possess it forever, from generation to generation. You can't read very far in Holy Scripture before you stumble across the judgment of God. I've known people who never wanted to hear anything of harsh nature, rather preferring to dwell on the lovely passages that promise God's mercy and forgiveness and blessing. But how can you read with such blinders? Isaiah depicts the desolation of a nation that stood as Judah's arch enemy as far back as the conflict between Jacob and Esau. The Edomites, descendants of Esau, even conspired with Babylon's 6th century B.C. destruction of Jerusalem and the Temple. Many scholars connect this with the great tribulation event of God's judgment on all nations for the sin of oppressing fellow humans. The picture of a nest of eggs against a backdrop of chains seems odd, but a perfect representation of God's purposes in judgment. Out of the chains of oppressive bondage comes the promise of new life. It's a glorious reminder of Calvary's cataclysmic event where the perfect sacrifice of one, totally innocent, brings the birth of eternal life as a possibility for all. And in the juxtaposition of the desolation of Edom stands Edom's land, deeded to the creatures of God's choice, flourishing, Who would have imagined such a turn? And yet, isn't that what God has promised for those who turn their eyes upon Jesus? Isn't it the surety of reigning with Christ that we see? It is harmless doves elevated to the throne room, the eggs of promise 
breaking the chains of death. For you today, grabbing the chains of power is not and has never been God's plan for his church. Real power waits in the promise of God. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.